All right, today we're going to take a look at the Fresh Start Wizard in MAP Software, which is a great process to go through uh, if you just received a new profiler uh, from ECD and uh, want to get it programmed and, and set up to profile with. And so to begin here, go ahead and, and launch your MAP Software, uh, connect your mole to the PC, and we'll start uh, by selecting the Wizards drop-down menu at the top. And in this video, we're going to go for the Fresh Start Wizard. And I'm going to use our demo instrument as an example and so that we can walk through this together. And so we'll say that we have a, a Super Mole Gold 2 profiler that we just received and want to get it set up to profile with. And the first thing it's going to ask you here uh, is to name your instrument if you um, if you uh, want to put in a specific name, maybe just your uh, company name, you could do that. And we're going to set the logging interval as well. So the recording interval is uh, most, the majority of the time, you're going to want a one second logging rate uh, for the profile, unless you're using one of our palette products like a wave rider or an oven rider, in which case you would want a uh, one tenth of a second logging rate. And so it allows you to select which channels that you like on here at the bottom. I'm going to leave all six channels on, say that we're, we're utilizing all six channels. And uh, our thermal couples are set up for type K. You'd only really change this if you had one of our mini mole uh, products, which uh, measures relative humidity as well. And so now that we've named our instrument and selected the logging rate, made sure we got all our channels turned on here. We'll go ahead and click Next, and this is where we can enter our assembly information. And it's not 100% necessary. I mean, it's not um, it, it's not uh, imperative that you do this, but it can uh, help with um, it just a visual aid as to what you're measuring, what assembly, you know, what product you're you're profiling here. And so. Um, we have a space for the image of the assembly. If you'd uh, like to put an image in there, just as an example, we'll grab our uh, trusty motherboard 79 here and add that into the image. And we can click and drag. I'll enlarge this so we can see it better. Um, but we can click and drag our thermocouple locations. And you can see that dynamically changing the XY coordinates on the left just so that if uh, somebody else were to view our, our assembly information, they could see where the thermocouples are placed on the board or where they should be placed. And so we'll just add those in there with the locations. And since it's already dynamically updated the coordinates, we can just click OK, and it will save that information. And we can also name our part number. Uh, our assembly here, we'll just call that motherboard 79 as well. And we'll go ahead and click next. Now it's going to ask you for your oven information, your machine info. And you can either uh, select one from the list, or if you've already created one under the machine oven drop down menu, that would be at the top. That would be located at the top of the list here for a custom created oven that you've uh, that you've measured the zones on. I'm just going to say uh, we'll go with our OmniFlow 7 oven here with seven heating zones and two cooling. And uh, you can make any modifications here if you need. And we'll go ahead and click Next. And we can, at this point, we select our solder paste whatever type of process paste that we're using with uh, the profiler are going to be using um, in our reflow. And there's a, a wide range of process pastes here. Um, most likely yours is on the list, but if it's not, you can click new uh, to create a new uh, solder paste specification. And so I'm just going to grab an Amtech paste here and we'll use that and click Next. And so this is our final uh, kind of pre-flight checkout for uh, the Supermole Gold 2 profiler and or any other profiler that you 
that you are using the Fresh Start wizard on, anything from the original SMG uh, to the Megamole works as well. But uh, this is just going to list our, um, our setup here. You can see we've got the one second log interval programmed in there. That's really the main thing that we're wanting to establish with this Fresh Start wizard. Um, and we get the green uh, go light at the end of our, our setup here. And so one quick side note is if you don't have thermal couples plugged into the profiler, uh, these would be listed in red as open. And you'll never get the go light if you have um, open thermal couples. And so that if it says stop here, don't be thrown off. It doesn't necessarily mean that um, something is amiss. It, it's basically letting you know that you have open thermal couples um, on your, your instrument status. And so if everything else looks good to you, um, we can go ahead and click next. That's going to send the, uh, the programming through to the profiler. And if you do want to uh, follow this fresh start wizard all the way through to the end, uh, it notes here to um, go ahead and, and disconnect the instrument and hook up your assembly to it and go run a profile. And once you've done that, it will walk you through downloading your profile as well. And so once you come back and hook it up to the machine again, to your PC, um, it'll give you the list of profiles uh, that, you've, that you've recorded. And you can select your most recent one that you just did and hit finish. And that will load it into the software for you where you can save it. And let's say we have a naming convention here, and we want to we want to name um, our file by the date, and so it just appears as one long number with the date and time, and give us a nice uh, naming convention to go by, and we'll go ahead and save that. And so now it's saved into uh, Map Software. Um, I do not want to enter prediction mode for this tutorial, but that will uh, display your profile once, you, once you've completed the Fresh Start wizard. And so it, it's a really handy tool to walk you through. Like I said, if you got a new profiler or if you're just receiving a profiler that you haven't used before from your company and you want to get it set up to, to uh, make an up and run with for the first time. And so that's the Fresh Start wizard in Map Software.